Okay, so now transitioning is working from title screen to game screen. So let's make a player class. So again, inside of this package 01 class, player, player class. And uh, there are two parameters or elements for this player class. One is HP and the other one is weapon. So what kind of weapon player has? And there are two weapons in this game, knife and uh, long sword. First, we're gonna make a HP integer and a public int HP this time. And then we're gonna make, uh, we need to make a weapon. But before making this variable, we need to make a weapon class first. And we can make it in this package one, but uh, I think I'm gonna make another package uh, package and 02 you can name whatever name you want but uh, and uh, yeah I'm gonna make a weapon class uh, inside of this package too because you know this is a small game so we're gonna make only two weapons so knife and longsword but uh, basically we're gonna create a class for each weapon. So if you want to create 50 weapons, then that means you're gonna create 50 classes. So that's a lot. So I want to separate these like a system related class and the other, you know, like a asset class, weapon or monster class or, you know, item class or stuff like that. This way it's, it would be easier to organize. Okay, so first, Let's create a class here and uh, I'm gonna create a class called uh, Super Weapon. So why this is Super Weapon? Uh, because this is a super class. And inside of this Super Weapon, I'm gonna set two variable. The one is name, a public string name. And the other one is damage uh, not puric and that's everything about this super weapon class and then inside of this package too I'm gonna create another class and uh, I'm gonna name this as a uh, weapon knife mm. and this weapon knife class uh, inherit this super weapon and uh, so public constructor knife its name equal knife and the damage equal uh, three or something hmm. so since this weapon knife class is inheriting this super weapon class so you know you don't need to declare this public string name or public in damage so you just need to type like this name equal knife and damage equal three okay and this is done this class is also done and so let's make another weapon and weapon a long sword so I put this weapon before this weapon name because if you make a lot of weapons lot of items lot of armors and uh, put into this package too then uh, you know so this way it would be easier to recognize you know what kind of item is this so weapon or armor or you know item or stuff like that so and okay so weapon long sword and this is also extend super weapon and uh constructor weapon long sword and the name uh, this time long sword and the damage, so knife's, knife's damage was uh, 3, 
uh, long sword is stronger than knife, so damage is like 12 or something. Maybe it's too strong, I don't know. And it, this is also done. So we have created two weapon classes and one super weapon class. And okay, let's go back to this player class. Okay, now we can make another variable. Not variable, this one actually. Uh, public super weapon. And we're gonna name this as a current weapon. And uh, import this super weapon. So this is the class we just created, this one, super weapon. Okay, and the player class is also done. And now we're gonna make another class and a final class for this package 01. And uh, it is called story, story class. What this story class is gonna do is, so basically this is gonna handle all the dialogue stuff, like uh, talking to the guard or narrative text. So you came to town and the uh, guard is in front of you or stuff like that. And okay, so then let me make a constructor first. Uh, story. Hmm. And this story is gonna use a lot of things. Lot of stuff in this UI class and also it's gonna access this, this uh, visibility manager and also this game class as well. So yeah, basically we're gonna send this game class and the UI class and the visibility manager class to this story class. Okay, let's move this here. Okay, then uh, story class and the story equal new story. And inside of this round bracket, so first we're gonna send this game class. And uh, in this case, we're not gonna type like this but we just type this so this means this class so this and uh, ui and also vm so ui and the vm and so so we're gonna use this game class and uh, ui and uh, BZP Pretty Manager uh, VM. Hmm. Uh, okay, so game uh, G or something UI you uh, user interface BZP Pretty Manager uh, B Manager or something. And uh, here, so game equal G, and UI equal U, no, user interface, and VM equal V manager. Now this story class can use all the stuff in these three classes. Okay, first thing this class is gonna do is set default value for the player. So like a player's HP or a player's default weapon. And so uh, let's make a method public void like a default setup. Hmm. And uh, okay, first Ah, and also we need to access this, yeah, of course, this player class. We can instantiate this player class here and send this, send, you know, player to this story from game class. But uh, I think in this game, player class is only used inside of this story class. So, so we just instantiate player class here inside of this story class. So player, player, call new player. So this is also okay. Either way is fine though. And so now we can access this player class. And first let's set player's HP. So, uh, okay, first player and dot and HP. And equal 10. So default HP is 10. 
and this HP means this HP uh, variable in this player class and okay and let's display this number so we're gonna use this UI class uh, HP number label and set text and uh, yeah player uh, dot HP and now next one is weapon player weapon so this time player dot not HP but the other one current weapon this is actually a super weapon class and uh, equal so we have created two weapons knife and long sword and the default weapon is this knife so we type like this new weapon knife and import okay maybe this is a bit complicated but this current weapon is super weapon and the super weapon includes all these weapons knife or long sword in this case so with this line we just put this weapon knife class into this current weapon so what can we do with this i'm going to show you an example so for example so we want to display a weapon's name on the screen so we're going to use this weapon uh, no, name label so it's currently you know nothing is displayed here so we're gonna display weapon name here and this 10 here so ui dot weapon name label and set text and inside of this round bracket player dot current weapon dot name now right now this current weapon equal this weapon knife so current weapon dot name means this weapon knife name so then uh, yeah let's before this title screen i think after this create ui uh, this time use this story and dot default setup hmm. so we, we're gonna call this default setup this one hmm okay let's check this and click start now we can see hp number and the weapon name here so this way whenever you found a new weapon then uh, you just need to change the content of this current weapon then you can access uh, all the parameters for this game we have only two stats but uh, you know you can add any number of stats into this weapon class like uh, selling price or uh, like a durability or stuff like that so anything mm. okay so now uh, the player's parameters are all set so yeah let's move on